Yeah, hi guys. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, today we'll see some more concepts. Okay. Uh, let me write it down. Okay. We'll we'll discuss today like what are the different types of uh, transformations that are available in Informatica Power Center. So there are mainly like four types of transformations. One are one is like active transformation. And the second one is passive transformation. And the third one is connector transformations. And the fourth one is unconnected transformation. So these are the four transformations. Um, these are the four different types of transformation which are available in Informatica, okay? So what is active transformation? Let me explain one by one, okay? Active transformations are nothing but, let me explain uh, the definition first. Active transformations are, are the transformations where, where the number of input records which are coming coming into the transformation into the transformation is not equal to the number of output record which are coming out of the transformation that's it it's very easy is not equal to not equal to the number of output records Which, which are coming out of the transformation. Let me explain this, okay? So I'm I'm just referring it as the, the transformation which are called as active transformations are the number of input records which are coming into the transformation is not equal to the number of output records which are coming out of the transformation. Let's take an example, okay? Think that this is our transformation, okay? think that this is our transformation what i mean what i explained in me in a few minutes back so the number of input records which are coming into the transformation okay are not equal to the number of input out input uh, the number of output records which are going out of the transformation so here number of input records is not equal to, is not equal to the number of output records. That's it, nothing else. So the best example I can tell you right now, I, I have not discussed filter transformation, but uh, filter trans, I will give you one simple example. Filter transformation is an active transformation, which is used to filter the data. So if you like take, uh, one condition. Think that this is our filter transformation, okay? Let me take it here. And in and filter transformation is generally used to filter data, right? By providing some condition. So let's take one example. We provided that department ID is equal to 5 or 10. Okay. So when there are 10 records which are coming from source, Think that there are 10 records which are coming from source. So in that 10 records, there are there are um, uh, employees whose departments uh, belongs to 10, 20, 30, like that. But there are only three records who belongs to department 10. So when those three records come into the transformation, into the filter transformation, and this there is a condition, right? What are the record which satisfies this condition only pass through the out of the transformation, pass out of the transformation. So how many records we'll get? We had like three, we have three records. 
of department ID 10 from source out of uh, 10 records. How many will be getting out of the uh, transformation? We'll be getting only three records because only three records who belongs to department 10, right? That's the output. So the number, the number of input records, how many? 10. The number of output records, how many? Three, which are not equal, right? Such type of transformations are called active transformations. Okay. You just remember when I'm discussing each and every transformation, I'm again covering why we uh, call a specific transformation as active, why we call a specific transformation as passive. I will discuss it again, but for now, just concentrate here. What I'm, what I mean to say, the number of input records. Like, let me take this. So the number of input records is not equal to is not equal to the number of output records that is nothing but active transformation i hope that is clear only remember this point blindly whenever somebody asks you like what is active transformations you can tell them that the transformations are um, uh, uh, the active trans transformations are nothing but the number of input records which are coming into the transformation is not equal to the number of output records which are going out of the transformation that's it that is that is active transformation Okay, let's move on to the next one. Don't worry, I will discuss uh, by taking an example each and everything when we are discussing transformations. Now, what are passive transformation? Passive transformations are the transformations which are referred as the number of input records which are coming into the transformation is equal to the number of output records which are going out of the transformation. Those, those transformations are referred as passive transformations. That's it. Very, very easy. Okay. Okay. You can tell them that the number of input records which are coming into the transformation is equal to transformation is equal to the number of output records which are going into the transformation such type of transformations are called passive transformation okay what i mean to say here is let's take one example okay think that the same example think that this is our transformation okay What is our statement we made? The number of input records which are coming into the transformation is not is equal to the number of output records which are going out of the transformation. Okay. Number of input records which are coming into the transformation is equal to <clears throat> The number of output records which are going out of the transformation that's it those such type of transformations are called passive transformations i hope that is clear it's very very easy to understand okay take that uh, here the 10 records are coming into the transformation from the source even after passing into the transformation the number of output records which are coming out of the Transformation also 10 records, such type of transformations are called passive transformations. I hope that is clear. Okay. Easy, right? Okay. Let's move on to the next uh, type of transformations. Okay, so what is the next type of transformation? Connected transformation and unconnected transformation. These are like very, very easy to understand. 
we have already seen like how to load data from a table to table, table to file, file to table, file to file, right? In our previous sessions. So in the, in let me go to that's one of the mapping that we created last uh, in our last session. So this is the mapping which tells like it's loading data from table. It's taking data from a table and loading it to the file, right? So in this mapping, is there any transformation which is not part of the pipeline? Not part of the pipeline in the sense, everything is connected right here. Is there any transformation which is not connected? See, there is even if you search, there is no other transformation, right? Which is not connected. So whatever the transformations which are connected, which are part of the pipeline, pipeline in the sense, this is entire uh, now, data flow is, is known as a pipeline, the mapping mapping pipeline. Okay, if there is any transformation which is like if, if uh, whatever the transformation which is part of the pipeline, which is connected in the pipeline, uh, such type of tra transformations are called connected transformation. You can remember that transformations which are part of pipeline, which are part of pipeline are mapping. You can tell them like that also. I think it's a pi pipeline, uh, better referred as a pipeline only. Okay, don't mention it as a mapping. Just for your understanding, I'm let I'm letting you know because uh, when we discuss unconnected transformation, what are what is the unconnected transformation? There are some transformation which are which can be used without connecting also. Such type of transformations are called unconnected transformation unconnected transformations are not part of the pipeline pipeline in the sense the mapping the mapping flow right this is a flow right this is a flow here there is no transformation but think that there is the source qualifier transformation right, which comes as a default i will explain excuse me i will explain it when we are discussing about source qualifier transformation okay but uh, right now there is no transformation right by seeing it's a by seeing this mapping itself you can say that there is no transformation which is not part of the pipeline which is not connected what i mean to say okay in in the similar way if there are some map there, there are some transformation which can be used as unconnected what i mean to say is like for example take uh, let me take one un lookup transformation lookup transformation can be used as unconnected transformation See, take any, I will randomly take uh, one table, okay, on the target, I'm doing a lookup on the target, so that, don't worry about all these things. See here, I can use this as an unconnected lookup. I can call uh, unconnected lookup uh, port in an expression transformation, uh, how we can call, how we can use a lookup as unconnected lookup, I will explain each and everything when we are discussing uh, the lookup uh, transformation, okay. Right now, you need to concentrate on uh, you need to remember that whatever, see here, this transformation is not part of the pipeline, right? This is not part of this pipeline. That's why we call this, this type of transformations are unconnected transformation. I hope that is clear. So unconnected transformations are the transformation which are not part of the pipeline. You can explain, somebody ask you like what type of um, unconnected and connected transformation you can tell them the transformation which are part of the pipeline are referred as connected transformation and unconnected transformations are the transformation which are not part of the pipeline that's it so these are the four important uh, types of transformations in informatica power center i hope that is clear if not please uh, uh, comment and i will be uh, replying back to your uh, questions okay until then thank you so much guys take care